how to split a cube into three identical pyramids. We shall build with cardboard and glue a pyramid fitting into a cube. It will have a base this side at the bottom of the cube and as a top this corner. So it will look something like this. And the third uh, edge that is missing will be that one. We shall see that the volume of this pyramid is exactly one third of the volume of the cube. Moreover, we'll be able to reconstruct the cube with three identical pyramids like that. We will be able to reconstruct the cube with three identical pyramids like that. In order to build the pyramid, we start from a model. And we use the coordinate system on the page. First of all, there will be a square that will be the base of the pyramid. The square being this. And the coordinate of this point is simply enough 10, 10. Then there will be a triangle going up to here. Here the coordinate is 20, 10. There will be another triangle going there. This is 10, 20. And there will be two more triangles, the coordinates of which are a little more complicated. One of them is on the left side at the uh, mark 7.1 and on the vertical axis the, the mark is 17.1 that's here minus 7.1 17.1 and another one will be at the mark minus 2.8 and 26.1 that's just here so the last two triangles will be these they will be the large sides of my pyramid minus 2.8 26.1 and on top of that I will add a little band to paste Of course, uh, you must draw this uh, picture, this model, with a ruler and very carefully. I've done it by hand in order to explain. So we cut along this model and we get this, uh, which is not yet entirely constructed. It is the model cut and I began to fold it. So we fold and paste uh, the model to create a pyramid. Here is the way it looks. It has uh, two small sides and two larger sides and this is actually the big diagonal of the cube. The next step is simply enough to build three pyramids on the same model. And we shall see that they can be assembled to form exactly the cube.
Here is a cube made of the three pyramids. So one question though, do the pyramids fill in the cube entirely or uh, is there a void inside? That's important. Well, a reasoning on the angles of the various planes, it is easy to check and we check that there can be no void inside. Well, hence uh, the volume of the initial pyramid is one third of the volume of the cube. Uh, let's use some notation with uh, V equal the volume of the pyramid A S equal the surface area of the base that is uh, one side of the cube and H equal the height that is uh, the length of one edge of the cube we have V equal S multiplied by H divided by 3. We shall start from this result to extend it to, first of all, any pyramid, and secondly, even any cone. The way we shall do that is to slice the pyramid into many uh, horizontal and thin slices and move them each of them is a square with a thickness and move them and we shall see that we can create any pyramid with height h and later on any pyramid uh, anyhow and for the cone we shall transform these uh, squares with a thickness into circles with a thickness some sort of pizzas and we shall be able to uh, link somehow the volume of this initial pyramid to the volume of any pyramid and any cone. 